good morning welcome to day 81 May 9th it's 615 and I just walked up from Crampton Gap shelter had a good night last night I will say this one difference I've noticed between really the area outside Shenandoah up to this point is the wilderness corridor is a lot more narrow than the south so you hear a lot of planes trains and automobiles uh, down in Georgia especially in North Carolina Tennessee border you don't hear all those signs of civilization but you hear a lot of it here the maintainers or maintaining clubs for this area they've done a good job with those tent pads especially the benches that they put next to the tent pads those are very useful and not just for sitting on but getting your gear set up and I even cooked on the bench last night so good job with that path and I can't remember the Maryland Club today I'm either going to do 20 or 25 miles I need to do the 25 to get myself back on schedule because I got a late start on Monday and I didn't get the number of miles so. I wanted to be in Pine Grove Furnace State Park by Friday but I'm about seven miles behind schedule but if I can do that 25 I'll be back where I'm supposed to be good thing about Maryland is there's a shelter or a campsite about every five miles so it allows you a lot of flexibility in your trip planning okay that's going to be it for now until next segment this is reboot heading north this is my first real view in Maryland and it doesn't have a name on gut hooks trail guide but it's where the White Rocks Trail joins the AT, so I'll call it White Rocks View. I'm finding out that there is a lot of history in this part of Maryland. I've walked through several battlefields. There's a lot of monuments for the Civil War. And this is a really beautiful church. It was built in 1881. It's called the Dahlgren Chapel. And you can pause this if you want to read it and get the story. But I was familiar with the Monitor and the Merrimack, but never heard of the Dahlgren gun so I'll have to look that up see what's so special about that did you know that the original Washington Monument is not in Washington DC it's in Maryland at the Washington Monument State Park So 
there's a uh, field trip in it right now. So I made it to the top of the monument. This is the view. And according to this sign to my right, that's Pennsylvania over there. So that's my first view of Pennsylvania. I should be going in there tomorrow. That's the town of Boonesboro down there. And over there is the Antietam battlefield. This is the view from Annapolis Rocks. It's about a quarter mile off the AT. And there's a campground and a privy. Uh, on the side trail. <laughs> I, I don't think the revolving door is done. They don't like that. Is this Pennsylvania? No, it's Maryland still. And I've been going through a rocky stretch here about the last half mile. And instead of clearing up, it's getting worse and worse. And that's the trail right through there. Slowing me down, man. It's 4.30. I just passed the 20-mile shelter. About a half mile back. And I'm headed to Raven Rocks, I think it is. Put me at 25 for the day. Should have plenty of time to get there. Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, just wanted to record this pasture. So I thought it was really pretty. Little rural piece of Maryland here. Yet to see anything like this. been hot today. Uh, I've been trying to drink as much water as I can without carrying extra. But the, the water points are somewhat far apart. I did pass a couple of streams. I just filled up and I drank probably about a liter and a half. And there's several water points between here and the next shelter so I'm only carrying a liter right now but a little cool breeze coming from behind me feels good but when I get to this shelter I'll be back on track for getting to Pine Grove Furnace State Park on Friday I'll have to say thus far and I'm almost out of Maryland, about 10 miles to go, I guess a little less. But I've been pleasantly surprised by Maryland. Although I thought it was going to be a lot flatter than it is. And I was reading one of the bulletin boards at one of the road crossings. And I think it said there was like less than, it was less than 2,000 feet elevation gain for the entire state of Maryland. So it's not really challenging elevation wise, but that climb yesterday coming up from uh, Shenandoah River, CNO Canal, that was a decent climb. That got my attention. And there's been a couple of little climbs here and there. But uh, I was hoping it would be less rocky in Virginia. And I think mile for mile it probably is. There's been a few rocky sections like what you saw in the previous segment but there's been a lot of nice smooth clear sections too and then uh, the historical points have been interesting and 
again kudos to the trail clubs for the shelters uh, the tent pads for the benches and the way the trail winds through state parks so you can get chances to use plum toilets and uh, get potable water from spigots and I didn't film it but I passed by that Dahlgren backpacker campground and it looked like a nice place it had a uh, restrooms and I believe it's God said there was a shower house in there so that's the first time I've seen anything like that and I was going to originally plan to stay there but I was seven miles behind so it would have been a nice place to stay all right we're out of the meadow and back in the woods so I'm going to end this segment here I am still amazed by these rock walls that are just out in the middle of the woods and there's another one behind it and I passed another one coming down this ridge here if you look closely you can see that they tried to make the rocks level This makes me think of, uh, or it makes me wonder about the people that lived here and just the amount of work that must have gone into this. And uh, the lives that took place here in these woods that have now been taken over by trees and and uh, no human activity except for people walking by on the Appalachian Trail. This is going to be the wrap up for day 81. You're looking at Raven Rock Shelter. It's a very nice shelter, cover porch, picnic table. And it's made from um, modern log cabin type logs. And uh, I'll put a little video of the uh, interior here. The privy's down there. And it has bear cables. And there's tent platforms over in that direction. The only bad thing about this shelter is there's, it's a very long walk to the spring, so if you're coming northbound, I recommend bringing your water up the seven-tenths of a mile from the cascade that you will see on the hike up. It's a very steep hike, um, even by Maryland standards. So, oh, there's a sunset over there. Uh, did 25 miles today, and feeling good. Uh, I'm back on track for getting into Pine Grove Furnish State Park on Friday. Although it's supposed to rain tomorrow, starting about 10 o'clock. So, but I'm happy to be here. Happy to have done the 25 miles, get back on track, and I'm at a nice shelter with some good people. And because of that, it's all good in the woods. <laughs>